Good morning. We are starting the goat pen again. Sorry about the ducks. Um, we just got some string and we're measuring out how big we want it. What size is that, Dad? Five foot shorter, that's fine. That's, that's why, that's the, that, that'd be the same size as that one. Right, that's fine. We well, don't mind it slightly shorter. Short. So they've got the both, haven't they? They can use both. Yeah. Leave the gates open. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, that's fine. That's 25 feet. That's 25 feet. Um, same way anyway. Yeah, and then we're going down there. We'll have a little bit of garden left here. Not that we'll probably use it, but yeah, <laughs> well after that bit. Um, but they've got loads of trees to eat here. Um, we're just basically going to try and get some posts in, basically. And we're going to put a gate here on this panel so they can go from A to B. They're very cold today. It's very chilly, so we'll get started. Right, we're getting the first one in. Stop the light not the lightest thing. Square, yeah? Yeah. Are you going to square? Yeah. Yeah. Can I see something? Yeah, on the bottom there. Right. Can't I give you a bubble? Nope. I've got some to squat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will be. It's not straight to that, it's straight to that one. Right, I'll be coming out. Straight to your gate. Right, we've got some helpers. We've got Tabby, who is on tape measure duty. We've got Tilly, she's perimeter. on supplies. Who's on what? Perimeter duty. Perimeter. Bear's on perimeter, he's checking. Madeline is on aesthetics. She's gonna look at whether it looks pretty. And Flossie is on mummy juicy, so she she's just gonna go and get in the hot tub and have a relax. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. I'll check from over here. So We've put all posts, we've gone five foot apart. Dad's just putting this last one in. They're not in yet, obviously, because they're like, how big are these posts? 2.1 meter, aren't they? Uh, yeah. So they have to go in the ground enough so that they then end up being four so foot. Okay, compared to the ones that side. Yeah, so these ones, uh, the actual length they end up being, but they have to be in the ground enough so that they don't push them over because goats are strong. Tabby's helping us, the other dogs have gone inside, they got bored, so this M one's in the right length and then look down got all the others. Straight at you. What do you think? Yeah, we're pretty look. straight there. Yeah, looks good. And then we've got to do all down here. Then we've got to wire it. Get that close there, so I'll just come here a little bit. And they get a post in here. This is where the sheep live in here. Right. Got time. Work that in. I'm on, I'm on bubble duty. It's way off. There we go. Fingers. Yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> Tabby was watching. Don't think it no, bubble. Way. Bubble's way off. Okay. Yeah. Tabby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you eating grass? Is that nice? So the front posts are going in. Hey, bear. Look at them too. So the stock fence is going up today. I painted the post this morning green. Now the stock fence is going up. I'll show you from the other side. Here we go. So this is the old pen, new pen. I think it looks so much better now. The stock fence is going up. Obviously this stock fence is a bit fresher because they haven't rubbed against it yet, but it'll all look the same eventually. I've just got to go across here with it and then the pen is done. Right, so we've got most of the sock fence up. <laughs> Maddie and Tabby were clever and realised we weren't putting a gate in this and stayed outside. Bear and Tilly, not so clever, and now they're locked in with us because we've completely closed it in. We'll get them out, don't worry. Um, but yeah, so you can't see on camera, but it is all, it is all stock fence across. Right, so up here and then all the way down here. Oh, Maddie worked her way in. So we've just not done this corner down here, which really? we need to like sort out. We just, this stock fence is short, which we knew anyway. Um, and then the stock fence, we wanted to buy the same roll again, but it's out of stock. So we've had to buy a shorter stock fence, not much shorter, but it's just making our job a little bit harder. So we're gonna have to piece it all together. And then we also want a stock fence. The top of here, because goats can climb. These three are being angels and helping us make the goat pen. 
That is making her way back in, the secret door. She See if she remembers it. the way in. She'll find it. I bet she does. It's here, Mads. You have to come down. Keep going. Keep going. Maddie, there she is. Hello. Right. Nearly done, aren't we, Rob? Mm -hmm. Got stock fence. We've just cut this off. This is the annoying thing with this. It's well, not up. as high, but we're going to put it along so the back fence. Get... We've trimmed it because it's really bloody heavy. Oh, you know, yeah, it's fine. So this is going on the back fence. We hope. Oh, she's oh, ah, nettle stinged again. Yeah, right in the nettles. Right, Dad's putting the nails in while I hold the stock fence up. We've got an audience. So we've put stock fence all across the top here. Obviously, the goats haven't been in here yet, and most of the time we have to redo stuff. But hopefully, this time we don't have to. Right, I've gone to get the treats. Right. Treat from me. So in case. I'll let Huckleberry have a treat, haven't we? Good boys. Come on, boy. Look at all that holly just for you to eat. Look at all. Oh, he's going for the bunting. <laughs> Typical goat. Goes for the material. Um. Can we just hook it to the higher branch? Look, they love it. They're eating all the leaves. That is some very happy goats with their new enclosure. They still have the other enclosure, obviously. Hello. Is that it? Make you happy? You got a new bedroom. Oh, they're eating all the leaves, Dad. What? I don't know. I'm not eating them on this side. I know. Huckleberry keeps going back. Hello, boys. What do you think? Huckleberry was a bit nervous to begin with. Look at that. Oh, how exciting. I think that was a successful goat pen enclosure extension because they're all very happy with it. Here's Arnold. I've just put a bit of the play area in, which is what Arnold is on, and they're loving it. Huckleberry just jumped off and got chased off by his dad. Wheelbarrow. That just sounded wheelbarrow. Um, but yeah, they're really enjoying it. Good morning. We've been out this morning going and getting some bark from my friend and Dad's just bringing it over. I'm not feeling very well so I can't do any manual labour but I thought I'll bring the camera over and show you what it looks like so far. So here it is. Hey, that looks good, doesn't it Dad? Hey. Looks good. That bit, yeah. Got all bark down in our duck area, finally. Just got that much to do. Yeah. And then we've got to fill all this with bark as well but how good does this look looking very good rob your retainer's doing well just get that in there and then i can pull that back then very happy with it looks mint right, there we go look at that fabulous duck pen is coming along i will come out when you're on the way to do this bit thank you Okie dokie. And there's all the duckies, there's all the cold ducks and some geese. And we're also getting some more geese this weekend, which I will show you when we get them. We're getting five more. Is he helping or hindering? No, of course, they're eating it though. It's not Jack, it's Jacob. 
Yeah. Because it's eating bits, it doesn't matter, does it? No. I've been saving through it as I go through it as well. Because they eat worms. Because there's quite a lot of bits so in it, like plastic and stuff. Yeah. So I've been taking it out. They're eating worms, that's why, that's what they do. They like meal worms and stuff. That Look at lovely. that, it looks lovely. Look how fab that looks now. And then we've got turf coming for here, for this area, so this will all be turf. And then it'll be then bark this side. Look at that. Unexpected turn of events today. We're picking up five Sebastopol geese. How cute are they? <laughs> we got some beautiful new geese this morning, but they're a little bit shy at the moment. Hello. Here they are. Got some beautiful new geese. So they are mum, dad, and three babies and the uh, lady we got them from wanted them to be home together and um, we just named them <laughs> sorry for the noise um, so him here is daddy he's Donald and then the three closest to the camera are the babies so they're Huey, Dewey and Louie and then the one behind um, who's just put her neck down um, she's just behind that one is the mummy so she's daisy so we've gone disney themed um yeah they're beautiful they're sebastopol geese uh curly feathers like the mummy um you can tell daddy's the one stood up nice and tall there we go everyone's quieting down a bit now i've just been sat here for 10 minutes and they've become closer and checked me out and are much more calm um, yeah, they're doing really well. Considering there's a lot of ducks and geese to get used to and a big pond. They're doing really well. Mummy and Daddy up front and then three babies furthest this back. Mummy's the lower down one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the footage of the goat enclosure and the duck enclosure. I have to say a massive thank you to my dad for doing majority of the work because I've not been well the past few weeks and it's all really landed on him to do most of the work. Uh, he and my friend Ollie got all the bark. So that's the duck and goat area all sorted, ready for winter. And then tomorrow um, I have an operation. So I've just had a shower ready for that tomorrow and I'm just packing my bag ready to go. I'll uh, show you what I've got in my bag. So I'm just putting my bag together. So I've got my little uh, Kath Kingston Mickey bag that I'll put everything in. Got my button, which is the operation that I'm having done. It's my catheter button being changed. So I've got the button, got the syringe and catheter to use it. I've got some dressings in case I'm sore and it's bleeding. Got my medication, which I have in one of these little uh, travel things. They're super handy. Um, I just have like the full week in there. Um, I have my Mickey blankie because tomorrow I will be using my wheelchair because um, on operation days they are my worst days and I'm usually not well after theatre so I couldn't walk out so I'll be having my wheelchair tomorrow. Um, if you look at previous vlogs I used to be in it a lot more than I am now. Um, I've got a deodorant uh, ready for after theatre. I've got my clothes ready for tomorrow so I think that's everything. So I'm all fresh faced ready for tomorrow. Um, like I say, we're going to have to leave at about quarter past six in the morning. I'm hopefully on um, morning theatre, um, but I thought for a change I would take the camera with me because I don't think I've ever actually filmed um, when I've had a day case operation before. I have this done once a year, um, used to be twice a year, now I have it once a year. This is delayed, it was supposed to be happening in July and now we're in October, um, so that's why I've not been feeling very well. I've been having a lot of pain because it needs changing. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. It's a nice wet morning this morning and we're off to the hospital. Um, so we're here now and I'm checked in and I'm just waiting for my stockings for my feet. <laughs> Mum's here. Yeah, I've just been measured up. And then I've got to put my gown on, and then I'm first down apparently, so it shouldn't be too long. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm filming you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I can't do stockings, so mum does them for me. Don't think they're the right size. Do you think? I mean, I know they're supposed to be tiny. <laughs> stockings are on. Thanks, mum. <laughs> Just got two left feet. I have got two left feet. Can you see that? Presume it's not lots of left. Surely not. Got my gown on. Looking good. Mum's just got to sit here and wait for me. I know it's massive. Look at my room. Fit two more people in. <laughs> got no bed though. <laughs> not yet. Anyway. Wait a mummy. Got some toast and a drink. Mum's here. Oh, it's half a half a pint. <laughs> and I've come back now, and I've had a wee. So now I'm eating my toast. Pair seen better days. Got my drink. Now we gotta wait for the okay to go home. Letting me go home. So mum's just having a week and then I'll be on my way home. I've not updated the vlog. I got home a couple of hours ago and I was feeling fine and I had a really good recovery this time as opposed to last time. But um I just started to go a little bit rough now, but it is six o'clock and I think like all the pain relief and everything's wearing off. And I think I'm just gonna top myself up on paracetamol get anti-sickness my sister is bringing in a mcdonald's <laughs> um for dinner um sorry if my camera keeps going out of focus i dropped it yesterday and i've smashed the screen um so i think it might be time for a new camera um but yeah so uh up went well i've got a new button um it was a change of my catheter button and the only slight problem is they've sent me home and they've accidentally well don't they accidentally i i took my own button in which you saw last night and then they've put a different one in, they've put their own in, um, which would be fine, but you have like tubes that you attach that you attach to the button and they've put the wrong button in, so my tubes don't attach. So that's causing me a little bit of a problem. So mum's just rang up the nurse to see if we can get some uh tubes sent over. I have some previous from previous years when I did have this button, um, but they're out of date, so I mean it's not the end of the bud, it's only a tube. Um, but I don't know if I should be using them or not. Um, they also started me on a new medication today um, that I've got to get from the doctors and then I've got um, a follow-up in three months and then I've also got some tests being done in three months as well and I've got to see a nurse too so lots of things going on. Um, I look very pale. <laughs> um, the TV's blue. Um, but yeah so I'm just starting to feel a little bit rough. I have this heat pad on um, which my mum bought from Amazon and um, it's basically like a constant hot water bottle and um, it has like the temperature on there and you can have different settings um, depending on how hot you want it because that's really helping because I am a little tender um, which is to be expected um, but yeah the GA is wearing off I have a sore throat from the tubes and but at least I am home here's all the babies just come back in there's Lessie and Tilly. Tabby B! Tabby B was here, but she just ran off because Hannah's arrived home. Good morning! So, two days after my up, and I feel much better today. A um, little few complications because something they did went wrong, but that's that. Um, but uh, we're going to let the geese out with the rest of the flock today because they've had a few days to get used to the area and now we're going to let them out integrate with everybody and we're going to get some treats Noisy lot out of the way <laughs> You've got some on your back You eat your lettuce? Oh look, they like it We've got some lettuce I can hear you guys But it's going to be all grass <laughs> We're enjoying that, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Eat your lettuce! Oh, come on! Oh no! <laughs> oh, we are beautiful white geese! <laughs> what the hell? 
So they're off on the pond. with everybody else. I'll give them a bit of time and see if they integrate with anybody. It's a lot because there's five of them. And if you add five ducks it's a lot different than adding five geese. That's Todd just gone for a swim. <laughs> wow. Where's she gonna go? There she is. Oh, here they come! Good job, guys! And then there was one, little miss, Henrietta, Hetty. Um, she's got a big girl collar on. She's been settling really well with R5. She's been in the garden with them a few times um, because obviously she has been here the last eight weeks, but she hasn't been one-on-one -on -one with everybody. Tabby B absolutely adores her, if you can't already tell. She's just gone and sat in the bed with her. Um, Mummy Floss loves having her around. The others are tolerant of her. Um, they haven't had too much time to spend playing with her, um, but so far so good with Miss Hetty. Do you love your sister? Tabby B, gentle. Good morning, little Hetty. We got up at 5 a.m. Good morning, princess. You're tired now, aren't you? Then you get your breakfast and start the day. <laughs> so here's Tabby B and Hetty Bum and they wanted to come in the garden for a little play. So we do that. Hetty's just had a dinner. She loves playing with Tabby B. She might have a wee. Well, she might just have a little play. <laughs> These girls. Ignore that gate we're having to put a fence. <laughs> 